Stephanie. Good evening, Chairman and members of the committee. I echo Jorge's gratitude. Thank you for letting us testify as a family. My name is Stephanie Gonzalez. I'm a uh, Providence resident and here to express my strong support for House Bill 5127. You'll hear many data points today, so I won't repeat what others have already said or what they will say. But I will share uh, this story as a woman and as a uh, new mom. Seven months ago, I gave birth to a little human who's right here with us, Omar Ernesto. I was very lucky though. I was not living in poverty. I had access to health insurance. I felt comfortable where I was professionally. I wasn't a victim of interrelationship, rape, or abuse. I had a supportive, a supportive partner. I didn't have to worry about paying for childcare. I was lucky. I was lucky. That's it. My decision to have a baby doesn't make me a better person than someone who chooses not to. It simply makes me luckier. Had my circumstances been different, I don't know that I would have made the same choice. And had my choice been different, it wouldn't be a decision for anyone to judge or shame. What bothers me most about the anti-abortion arguments is that we seem to assume two things. First, that women just can't be trusted to make the decisions for themselves and their bodies, and therefore we must legislate them. This is sexist. And to every man who so strongly opposes my right to decide what is best for my body, who never, ever has to experience pregnancy and birth, I find it insulting that you would take votes that oppose providing me and other women with the right to make decisions about our bodies. Second, another assumption made is that these decisions to abort are made lightly. That's far from the truth. That women use abortion as a sport. That we wake up one day, find out we're pregnant, and say to ourselves, hey, I think I'll get an abortion. What an insulting way to minimize just how complex and daunting pregnancy, birth, and the decision to have a child can be. As, as Jorge has said, we all know that if abortion were to become illegal, it doesn't mean that they will stop. They'll simply become extremely unsafe. Let's not let that happen in Rhode Island and ensure that every woman has the protection to make medical decisions about their bodies with their medical provider. And for those so convinced that the Supreme Court will not act to directly overturn way, know that I am most concerned with some state laws being introduced across the country that, might, that could be upheld if they ever come before the Supreme Court. To be honest, the reluctance of the legislature in Rhode Island to act on something that is already law doesn't give me much hope that you'll act on it if it ever gets overturned. Don't make us wait. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Any questions?